What's happening, Ray Carnes? Rec Tech Grills, check it out. We're going to do some ribs today. What's your favorite kind of rib, a spare rib or a baby back? I like the spare ribs better. Well, you give me nothing to talk about. I like the spare ribs better, too. Oh, I, baby like, I like the baby back ribs better. <laughs> now, the spare ribs are, in my opinion, better. So we got some St. Louis cut spare ribs. We've already taken the silver skin off. And we also got some baby back ribs. So we're going to do them both. What I'm going to do is uh, uh, I went to barbecue school. I went to Myron Mixon's barbecue school. I highly recommend it, particularly if you're in competitions. I mean, the way he teaches you how to box these plates, he's got it down to a science. I'm going to teach you Myron's recipe. It's not exactly his cook times, but I'm going to teach you his sauce and everything. He likes to cook a little faster. I'm going to do the 3 two, one method today. And uh, do you know what that is? 3 two, one. Three hours at 225. Two hours at 225 wrapped in foil, and then one hour at 225 with the sauce. I'm also going to do Johnny Triggs recipe on one of these ribs, so you're going to kind of get a double dose. I'm going to teach you Myron Mixon and Johnny Triggs recipe on ribs. So what we did, we took the silver skin off. We're going to season these up. We got our honey rib rub. First, I like to put a little olive oil just to get them a little bit wet so the rub sticks better. So we're going to season these up and uh, get them on the grill at 225. We're going to use our honey rib rub, half honey rib rub, and half of our um, uh, banging brisket rub is what we're going to put on these. And then we'll see you at the Rec Tech. We'll get these bad boys on. And uh, like I said, three, two, one. And we're also going to make some sauces. We're going to make a peach glaze for Myron's recipe that he does. Peach and glaze. we're going to do the um, recipe uh, that Johnny does is with the uh, uh, imitation butter, bar parquet butter, and... Um, brown sugar, uh, Thai sauce, and um, something else. I can't you, remember. You got that written down somewhere? Yeah, I've got it written That's down. Good. We'll figure it out. <laughs> You'll see in a second. Oh, you know what? I just bought this beef rib because I've never tried 3 two, one method on beef rib, so I'm going to stick that on there too just for fun. You know, why not? Let's get crazy with it. All right, we'll see you at the Rec Tech. All right, so we're going to get these guys on. The great thing about the Rec Tech, you set the grill at 225, Walk away. That's it. We're cooking with a um, um, perfect mix pellet, which is apple, maple, cherry. I'm going to put this one right here. Like this. That's how I like to get them. And then we're going to fit this guy. Can't see. Woo! That got smoke's smoked in there. Got smoked out. All right. So we got them in there. Oh. We're going to go three hours, 225. See you in three hours. All right, so the Myron mixing uh, rib recipe. So we got to make the uh, barbecue sauce. This stuff is so easy. It's amazing. So what you want to do is you want to put a cup and a half of a vinegar-based barbecue sauce. Of course, we use our um, Rectech vinegar-based barbecue sauce for this. Um, you want a nice, thin vinegar-based cup and a half of uh, barbecue sauce for, for that. Then you want to put one cup of a hickory barbecue sauce. You can use, you know, any store-bought hickory barbecue sauce for that. Uh, we using uh, Stubbs, and uh, you probably put one cup of that. You want to put one cup of ketchup. I got it, big guy. Here you go. One cup of ketchup. Man, when you cook as much as we do, we can eyeball these cups. It's there pretty you funny. You want to put um, 16 ounces, ounces, <laughs> ounces, 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 ounces of peach preserves. Mm. Let me get you. I got it. You got it with? I'll get you a fork here. It. Sixteen ounces of peach preserves, and then one cup of light corn syrup. Carol light, it doesn't have to be Carol, but light corn uh, syrup. And then what that does is gives the ribs a really nice shine. So we're doing the three, two, one method. The last hour is when you sauce them. So you, what you, we're going to do is whisk these ingredients together, put them on the stove, and whisk and heat them up. You definitely want to put your sauce on hot. You don't want to get this, put this on cold. So we're going to do one cup of the syrup. And then when those ribs are done, we'll put this on them. So we're just going to go ahead and make this while we're waiting. Mm, just a tad more. That's a cup. All right. See you at the Rec Tech. <laughs> All right. So they've been smoking three hours at 225. Now we're going to take them off. We're going to go inside and show you what to do next. Woo! Look how beautiful those guys look. All right. Here we go. Look at that nice color, man. The smoke, you can smell it. I wish you guys could smell this. Unbelievable. Here's the baby backs, and here's the experiment, the beef ribs. So let's go inside. Okay, so first we're gonna do the Myron mixing style. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to do one baby back and one spare this way. So what we're going to do is put them in a, I like to use two pieces of foil. We're going to wrap them up and I like to tint these. And when I, once I get them, get this foil wrapped up, I like to put a little bit of moisture in here. And I'm talking about, I take apple juice, I've used Dr. Pepper, I put about, I, I don't know, about three tablespoons. That's it, not much. Just a little bit to get some steam. I like to tint these, like so. And we're gonna do the same thing with the spare. We got spare here, beautiful. You can see the color's already set in. Now, some people like to spritz these during that first three hours. That's fine if you want to spritz them with apple juice. Myron spritzes them with a combination of uh, apple juice and imitation butter. Um, I didn't even spritz them. We had too much going on. I've done it with and without, and I'll be honest with you, very little difference in the end product. So I just, to make my life simpler, I just don't spritz them anymore. All right, so that's the spares. All right, so the next one is the Johnny Trigg recipe. We're going to do this spare. And uh, what Johnny likes to do is uh, wrap them first in saran wrap. Now, I haven't done this yet. My partner, co-founder of RecTech Grills, Ron Cundy, he's done it a bunch of times, said it's amazing. So I, I trust his words. That's what we're going to do. So we're just going to use imitation butter parquet here. You wouldn't think it, but Ron told me. He said, trust me, just go with it. Put that on top. Then we're going to put some honey. I would say about four tablespoons of honey. We're going to put about a quarter cup of brown sugar. Probably more like a half a cup now that I grabbed it. Half a cup of brown sugar. And then sweet Thai, uh, sweet chai, thai chili sauce. Probably here about a quarter cup. But guys, just go with your gut on this. It's not, it doesn't have to be exact. Put that together. Then we'll wrap it up tight in saran wrap. And then it goes in the foil. Nice and tight. And lastly, just for fun, we did one beef rib. It was a small one. I just bought it because I knew it had room on the grill. We're going to do this one beef rib. We're going to put a little Worcestershire in here. And we're going to wrap it for the 3 2 one method. So next step, two hours at 225. And then the last step is one hour. Take them out of the floor on one hour at 225. So we're going to go back out to the grill and get these bad boys on. See you at the red team. Okay, so we've been uh, 225 for two hours. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take the Myron mixing ribs off and we're going to sauce those and they're going to go the final hour at 225. We're going to take the Johnny Trigg ribs off and uh, they are actually going to go with no sauce because he almost makes a sauce, I hear, with that stuff. So let's get this done.
All right, so the three rib videos, Johnny Trigg, Myron Mixon, and Experiment Beef Ribs. These beef ribs don't make it three, two, one. We did three, two. They're falling apart. Look amazing. Let me tell you how they are. Uh-oh. I'm sure they're awesome. Dynamite. Wait till you see the other ones. See you in a second. All right, so these are uh, competition ribs. Competition ribs, uh, you want to be able to bite them off the bone. Now, backyard guys, a lot of want them falling off the bone. If that's your case, you just go an extra about 30 to 45 minutes in the foil, and they're going to fall off the bone for you. So uh, these should be able to cut and have a nice bite to them off the bone. Look at here. This is the Myron Mixon rib, okay? So let me show you what I mean by bite off the bone. They should pull clean off the bone and not fall off. Holy cow, it's good. And this is, even though that bone did fall out, this is the uh, Johnny Trigg bone. I mean, rib. Let's give it a shot. I got to get between the bones here. I'm missing. I hate when those bones are crooked like that. Same thing. Oh, nice smoke ring. Beautiful smoke ring. Mmm. Tell you what. That's close. That's close. If I was a judge, I don't know. I call it a toss up. Guys, you got to try both these recipes. I hope you enjoyed it. Visit RecTechGrills.com. You will never look back. Thanks for grilling with me today. Oh,